All right, what's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Super Black Comic Book Reviews by Jonathan Soul. And I got a fantastic comic I want you to listen to, see, watch, hear, and buy. Now, this book is for mature audiences only, meaning that there's some, some, you know, it's a comic, but it's a graphic novel, some mature themes, okay? And it actually says it right there on the cover, parental guidance, explicit content. All right, so now, this is, okay, so in a sentence, right? The elevator description of this book is, imagine hip-hop, uh, Justice League, Little Bit DC, and the internet had a baby. And then that baby made a graphic novel. <laughs> That's what we got here. We're talking about Trill League by Anthony Piper. Fantastic book, gorgeous art, funny stories. It's, it's one of the funniest comics I've read in a very long time. The last time I read a book and laughed out loud like this, I would have to say is uh, uh, University Squared. Now, even University Squared, you got to be a serious comic head to know who University Squared is. Uh, Michael, is it Mike? Mark? Mike Chow? Michael Chow? But yeah, yeah, yeah. So this book is funny, funny shit. So what are we talking about? We're talking about a spoof of the Justice League. Right. But it has an it, it's mixed with, you know, African-American culture, pop, you know, African-American pop culture, a.k.a. hip hop. Uh, you know, it, it spoofs DC, it spoofs uh, animation, you know, like manga, I, you know, characters like Naruto. Um, and it's like multi-layered. It's not. You can tell that Anthony is a true fan of all of these comic uh, properties and genres and stuff. So, uh, so it's a very enjoyable book. You can get it at trillleague.com, T R I L L, and league, L E A G U E.com. And uh, when I got my book, I actually got like a sticker, which is now my little laptop here. And I got a poster, which is going to be up on my studio wall with the rest of the comic book posters that I have. Very funny. And he, his, his writing is so detailed. It reminds me of uh, Daoud on your brile brother, man, when you get little jokes in the margins or um, insightful, like, uh, like Roosevelt Pitt, who, you know, drop little, you know, little history on you or whatever, you know, just, it's like, you got to read it a couple of times to catch all the jokes. You know, my son, <laughs> I, 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 I let my son um, read the uh, PDF. He's overseas. And uh, I'm going to get him this book for Christmas. Don't tell nobody, okay? Don't tell nobody. But, uh, but yeah, so he said, Father, there's an internet meme in here that you probably wouldn't get. And I'm thinking to myself, ain't this, a, <laughs> ain't this about nothing? I know about the internet. God damn it. You know what I mean? I think, but, uh, but yeah, so he, he really enjoyed the book. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so we open up the book, so the Justice League. So let me kind of give you like an overview. So when I say the Justice League, I'm talking about like some of the founding members. So you got a Robin and a Law. Well, it's a mix, you know, because Robin is in the Justice League, right? It's Teen Titans. But anyway, you got a mix. So you got the Robin and a Law, who's like our main character. His name is Sparrow. Got a hot top fade. He used to be a pop and lock dancer or whatever. And there's a whole history behind that. When I tell you that Anthony's, his spoof, his satire is like, a minimum of two layers deep is probably deeper than that. Cause I haven't read it a third time. If I read a third time, I'll probably pick up more. Then you got the woman, one thing, woman wonder. Blah, 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 blah. Then you got the wonder woman character, the kind of Amazonian kind of, you know, kind of vibration. Uh, then you got swole main. <laughs> swole main. When I, I used to, I, when I used to have my Southern accent, I could probably say it better, but a uh, swole main, a uh, swole man. Who's like the super, the man analog. And then you got a uh, black main, which is, uh, you know, the Batman analog. But again, when I say he's mixing African-American culture, you know, DC comics, Marvel comics. So when you, when you read it, you're going to say, oh, 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 you know, kind of a thing. Uh, and another, so he goes on the green Lantern characters is crazy. Dope, crazy dope. All right. So anyway, so you're going to go through, so you open up. And uh, we're in, uh, instead of like the hidden village in the mist, I think I might have to grab some of my son's old Naruto to make sure I'm getting this right. But instead of the hidden village in the mist, we're talking about Hidden Oak Boulevard on the 
West Side kind of a thing. And so uh, Sparrow and a young man named Tam Tam are walking. I'm not sure uh, what Tam Tam's deal is, but you know, so they're walking uh, through the neighborhood and uh, apparently, you know, maybe they're not supposed to go through this, this block or whatever, because some Naruto fan kids are kind of, uh, you know, checking them like, yo, you know, you're not supposed to be in this neighborhood kind of thing. And so they have a, a very humorous dialogue going back and forth. I mean, basically joning on each other. And, uh, and so, uh, there was one scene, this is why I tell you, Anthony's, uh, his satire goes at a minimum of two layers. It's probably five, but you know, a minimum of two layers deep. So anyway, so you got the, so they, they tease each other and the one kid on the sitting on the porch. Uh, now I'm looking at these kids and I, I got to is this, I'm assuming one is supposed to be Naruto. Then a quiet one is Sasuke, maybe something like that. And then the one in green, I'm just assuming cause they got high water socks on that's rock Lee, but I could be wrong. I don't know. He didn't drop out socks when he was getting ready to fight. <laughs> so, like, that's not rock Lee. You know what I'm saying? But a rock. But anyway, so so there gets a point in the uh, in the little Jonas session that uh, Sparrow says, you know, you know, you're so annoying. Isn't there a Dragon Ball GT marathon or something you lame should be watching? Now, I taught in middle school for a little while, and I remember everybody was dra drawing Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Z. I think Dragon Ball Z characters. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z. So I do realize from the kids that Dragon Ball GT wasn't very well received. And uh, and then the young man uh, on the porch kind of, you know, fires back, you know, you're trying to be funny, punk. Um, don't you ever come around here disrespecting our OG like that. Uh, Toriyama had limited involvement with that atrocity. Now, you got to be a serious Dragon Ball Z, pro, you know, manga head to even get that joke. And I'm just a little bit, I'm learning about the manga heavy, uh, you know, and everything. So, so I noticed that I know that's funny. My son laughed when he read that. And, uh, and so we continue now, my way is to my, my show is to kind of let you know some of the awesomeness that's going on, you know, out of the African comic community. When I say African, you know, my base is African, you know, in America, but you know, uh, it's, a, it's a small planet. And so if you keep that in mind, this is kind of like talking about the African American, you know, cultural aesthetic, you can, you can, uh, you know, you can appreciate the character design, you know, the high top fades and, and all this other kind of stuff. You can appreciate the joning. Uh, you can appreciate a, a lot of the stuff, even now, I don't know what this, what these hand signals are. I do remember, you know, from the Naruto when my boy was watching it, the hand signals, the way he ended, <laughs> I was like, okay, all right, I get it. Okay. You know, kind of thing. And then the spread, the two page spread where they're running for their lives. That shit is hilarious. That shit is hilarious. Now, you know, we go on and, uh, we meet at the, uh, the league foundation community center. <laughs> now, now, when I first read that, I was like, okay. And then once I saw the Batman analog, then it all made sense. I was like, okay, that's funny as shit. So, uh, you know, all right. I appreciate everyone showing up on such short, uh, on such late notice. Uh, and so you read and then you realize this community center is designed like a black power fist. And you look around it, you see there's a pyramid up there. A little, you see like there's a skate park or something. You know, it's just places for kids to play. <clears throat> this is something. And then when you see the Batman character analog, the, the black main analog, you realize this is like a Black Panther, you know, Batman kind of spoof. And this is something that a, you know, a, a millionaire would, would kind of do if he, if he was community minded like that. So again, like I say, a minimum of two layers deep, it probably goes deeper than that. And so we get introduced to the uh, members of the league. So, you know, at first, you know, we see Black Mane and we see Sparrow, right? So you get that part. You see the cat with the green hat uh, and, then, and then the armbands. Now, I'm, now, when I see the armbands, I'm thinking, is that Speedy? And I see the green hat, I'm thinking, is that Green Arrow? And uh, I think the kids call it snapbacks now. <laughs> so 
baseball cap. The kid got a baseball cap on. Turn around backwards. Okay, I got you. And then you see the muscular fella here. He look like he's a, a tight end for the Oakland Raiders or something. But you see this, bro? He got a, he got a hot top fade. So, uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, is there, that meme is in there somewhere, which my son said I wouldn't get, but whatever. <clears throat> so then we go into the table and we can pan out and then we can see there's seven members here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait a minute. Eight. Why is the green lantern guy way down there? <laughs> you know? So, so now we're looking and we see the whole, we see the whole league here. So we see Superman. He got that little, uh, that little mohawk like the football guys be wearing. My little cousin got that. And then they still rocking Jerry curls. This, this, uh, green lantern guy must be from like Atlanta or something. And then you got the brother with the, uh, green bear. So you, you see maybe a speedster. I'm, I'm not sure, but you can appreciate the character design and the thought behind it kind of a thing. You know what I mean? The character design and the thought behind it. And uh, it's, it's kind of cool the way uh, the black main character is commanding everybody. You guys must have thought, <laughs> you guys must have thought this was up for debate. <clears throat> I can't do it in my Batman voice. You guys must have thought, and I can't even do a Batman voice. You guys must have thought this was up for debate. Uh, the amount of super villains showing up is already getting out of control. And I want them off the streets. If you don't, if we don't start handling this now, our numbers alone won't be enough to stop them. Now, again, starting tonight, we will all be teaming up in pairs and I will be assuming, and I'll be assigning each of you a mission. <clears throat> so he goes in there and then everybody gets kind of, you know, broken up into teams. And then of course, as you know, this, this kind of cultural thing happening with the social media and people's relationships being out front and center, we see swole man, and uh, Wandisha, right, the Wonder Woman analog, they're beefing. And their beefing is affecting their work. So we can see that uh, they're not able to run on their missions together because there's some relationship issues that need to be worked out. So uh, this shit is hilarious. So I'm going to move on. <clears throat> so anyway, so now we're looking at the Green Lantern guy. And, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, man, this, this review is going too long. We'll end on this one. So you can see the Green Lantern guy and, uh, you know, he's having a conversation with the young fella, uh, you know, Sparrow guy, and then they get into a little bit of beef. And then you can see, um, you know, that, uh, the kid is touched, you know, he's wounded by this Green Lantern guy. I believe his name is soul. I believe his name is Soul. I could be wrong. And, uh, anyway, so they, you know, he beef about, you know, having your parents tell you to stay out of ground folks business, stay out of ground folks business. And then, you know, the little boy, you know, gets choked up because he remembers how his parents died and how he ended up the ward of black Mane. And I'm not going to show you that part, but it's, it's, again, it shows you how deep the spoofing goes. I'm going to skip a few pages or whatever. And then, you know, I guess all of these uh, characters, all of these, uh, <laughs> there's the meme my son said I wouldn't get. He said, uh, okay. You good, because once Black Mane find out that we don't uh, make it to the South Side, I ain't going to say how he's going to find out. He's going to kick you off the team, but that ain't none of my business. And you see him with the, uh, current with the, okay, see, 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 I caught it, son. I caught it. Anyway, so uh, the soul character, he's a pimp, or, you know, has pimp tendencies. And the young lady is uh, coming toward him. I guess she's going to settle up or whatever you know, give him, uh, you know, today's receipts. And, uh, obviously he's annoyed, but this young lady has an answer for it. She whips out this, this ring. Now at first I thought it was, uh, it's gotta be star Sapphire. That's the only character she could be. And so she, you know, she, uh, she's taking her revenge. She's changing the costume and kapow. She's knocked the hell out of this. Uh, and look, did you see that? Look at the license plate. Pimp down. This is what I'm talking about. That Those little details. You, you know, you know, you might not see it the first time. All these little details in this book. And so he's laying down on the ground. She destroyed his, uh, I guess that's an Eldorado or Cadillac construct or whatever. And so, you know, he's, he's, you know, he's talking to her and they're fussing back and forth. 
but she doesn't see that he's making another construct. And there's a line in here. I don't even know if, uh, if it's on here. She said something to the effect of karma's a bitch. And then he said, if I see, if I see her, I'll slap the shit out of her too. <laughs> now, of course I don't advocate, you know, but, but what you, what you got to understand is again, remember I talked about sense of humor. Now in a DC comic, the green lantern would just make a hand and slap the person, but this is a spoof and this is Anthony Piper. So first you got to build the hand construct and then you got to put some talcum powder <laughs> on the hand construct so you can get a nice good slap and kapaya boom. And so, uh, and so they go back and forth and everything. And then there's like a hand of the girl with the dragon tattoo that's going on. I'm not going to show you all that stuff. Again, mature themes, and there's like a Don Lemon is spoofed in here. Uh, uh, CNN is spoofed in here. Reality shows. Again, it really, really, really goes deep. This is this is a very enjoyable book. Mature themes. So you know, for me, I would give it to my son. At like me personally as a father, I would give him seventeen. You know what I mean? Maybe sixteen. You know, kind of a thing. You know, because. You know, he understands that these are spoofs, you know what I mean? You know, proper behavior, whatever, these are spoofs. But this is very funny. You got to have it in your collection. Uh, go over to Trill League, T-R-I-L-L, league.com. Grab this book. You can get the PDF version if you want it really quick. And, um, and, you, can get the, uh, and you can get the print version. And so uh, I got the PDF, of course, because I, you know, want to have it. And any book that I really dig and I really uh, appreciate, I generally buy both just because I want to support the artists. This is Jonathan Soul, JonathanSoul.com, where I uh, interview artists and writers in the comic book and uh, sci-fi space, mostly comic. And, uh, and I review black comics. And this has been a wonderful book to review. Love you guys. Hope all your dreams come true. Shout out to Anthony Piper. Keep up the good work, brother. I want to see issue 100 of this. Maybe Trump will be in it next time. Who knows? All right, then, family. John the Soul on Twitter, on Instagram, and Tumblr, and, of course, SoundCloud. Love you guys. Peace.